There are several ways to impart corrosion resistance and metal finishing in the market today, with electroplating, anodizing, passivation and electroless plating being our popular techniques. However, electroplating using chromium and nickel have added advantages that many coating techniques don't. So in this video, we bring you another startup idea that will offer you marginally high profit in a short period of time with relatively less investment. Hello and welcome to Enter Climate. My name is Shalin and let's dive straight in, into this video, starting with a brief overview of the nickel and chrome electroplating business. Metals like chromium and nickel are deployed on metal surfaces to give them corrosion, resistance and shining properties. Electroplating involves a chemical reaction between the anode that is the plating material and the cathode which is the surface that has to be plated. These two electrodes are suspended in a water filled plating bath and passed with electricity. The demand for nickel and chrome plating comes from automotive industry, construction and hardware industry, jewelry makers, tools and machine manufacturing units etc. Rapid industrialization and increasing disposable income of the Indian population are fueling the demand of electroplated products which in turn is boosting the need for nickel and chrome plating factories. However, the nickel and chrome plating factories involved in electroplating must adhere to the Pollution Control Board's standard operating procedures and waste management guidelines and follow the post compliances mentioned in the Pollution Board certificate. Let's now understand the benefits of starting a nickel and chrome plating factory. While both nickel and chrome plating can be done in the same factory, their application varies on the type of the product that needs to be plated. Let's start with nickel plating business. The nickel plating process absorbs impurities from the surface of the metal and provides it with a uniform lustrous layer of nickel. Nickel plating is widely utilized for its traditional looks and lower pricing than chromium plating. These two advantages have made nickel plating more common for industrial and residential purposes. There are two main types of nickel plating, the first being conventional plating and the second is electroless plating. While the former is more affordable and provides a higher corrosion resistance in the case of steel materials, but it has certain limitations too. However, electroless plating is just as corrosion resistant and durable and has a nickel phosphorus coating that leaves a sturdier texture and a glossier finish. Now coming to the chrome plating business, this plating is usually chosen for its durability and customizable finish. Compared to nickel plating, chrome plating won't corrode easily from steel surfaces but it is more resistant to abrasion. Chrome plating is commonly seen in many automotive parts because of its gloss finish. Although it is generally more expensive than the nickel plating process, the popularity of chrome plating is growing among many customers due to its attention-grabbing mirror-like appearance. Let's now see the licenses and authorization that will require to start a nickel and chrome plating factory. The electroplating units are regulated under the Water Act, Air Act and the Hazardous Waste Management Rules. As most units perform crude plating practices, they generate large quantities of waste, for instance chromium bearing materials, solution and waste streams generated after production require a special handling and are often discharged without proper treatment. Therefore, the government and the Pollution Control Board keeps a regular check on such industries by mandating the following licenses and authorization. The first is the Pollution NOC from the respective State Pollution Control Board or the Pollution Control Committee. Second is the Factory License. Next is Fire NOC. Next is Hazardous Waste Management Authorization or a tie-up with a TSDF operator. The last is the CGWA NOC for water abstraction. Let's now see the scope of nickel and chrome plating business in India. So nickel and chrome plating are two of the most common plating process used by industrial businesses today due to their affordability, durability. These two are the two most preferred characteristics desired by Indian consumers. Both these processes are highly effective in adding protection and reinforcement to the metal surface while providing a shiny finish. As per some reports, the global electroplating market will grow at 4.3% CAGR through 2030. A similar trend will be seen in India where durable electroplated products have a huge demand. It is most typical for iron and steel materials to undergo a coating process to slow down the corrosion. The rising demand for electroplated products from different end-use industries is attracting many entrepreneurs to this electroplating business. The electrical and electronics industry is also a huge user of chrome plated components for various end use applications 
that improves the characteristics such as corrosion resistance, wear resistance and electrical conductivity. So let me tell you how Enterclimate can play an important role with the setup of your business. Assistance and guidance in setting up a nickel and chrome plating factory will not only provide entrepreneurs with a hassle-free operation of the unit in future, but will also help them capture a more significant portion of this market. We at Enterclimate are the leading environmental consultancy company, renowned for our technology driven solutions for a wide range of environmental licensing and compliance services. So contact our licensing experts from the details provided below and get started with the business that you have been aspiring for. So that was all for this video. I hope you found it informative. Also remember to subscribe to our channel for more such startup ideas and business solutions. Thank you.